made this wreath by hand with pine branches that I picked up in the park since the fall. As we did not spend our Christmas in the Netherlands but in Mexico, this was the only Christmas decoration that we left at home. Maybe some other time I will make a travel vlog for our visit in Mexico, but not now. Anyway, this vlog will not be about Christmas or any Christmas decorations. This time I want to share something very different from what I have shared before. Hello guys and welcome back. It was about time for me to post the next seasonal video and since winter is coming to an end I needed to do that before that before then. So here it is. Um, unlike the autumn vlog, I don't know if you guys saw it already, uh, it was about uh, how the colors of the sky and the colors of the leaves in nature inspired me to create some paintings or making some studies of the tonalities. In this winter vlog, what really inspired me was the cold weather the temperatures below zero degrees and especially the snow since I experienced snow very recently since I moved here to the Netherlands some years ago and what resulted of that uh, were not paintings but video and photography and some of those works uh, were part of the project of graduation that I presented for my master program in fine arts here in Utrecht. So I was very happy that that kind of sensation and inspiration of the cold could be translated in some kind of creativity because I was feeling really curious how the cold weather affected and changed not only the landscape but the relationship that we can have with space so yeah if you feel curious about what happened just check it out Remember the first time that you felt the snow? In Mexico you can find snow if you go to the upper part of the mountains. But we don't know how the fresh snow feels like or if the snowflakes really have those entangled shapes. We rather relate snow with the illustrations in postcards, Christmas stories and Hollywood movies in general. As a child I always dreamt about playing battles with the snow, riding sleds, building snowmen, leaving angel marks in the snow. For us it was like a kind of a fantasy land. The first time I felt snow was at 1 a.m. in the morning. Abert, my husband, woke me up. I dressed as fast as I could to go outside. Snowflakes were falling like gigantic petals that crumbled to the touch. What surprised me the most was the silence. The neighborhood slept at that hour of the morning, of course, but there was a kind of a silence that I have never before perceived in my life. The snow covered everything, like a white blanket, and all was silent. It gave me a feeling of, of complete peace. I remember that, at that moment, I almost cried with happiness. 
and then some snowball thrown at my head by my dear husband <laughs> brought me back to reality. And so we played a while in the snow before returning to bed. The next day I was very intrigued about this new material, the snow. So I went outside. The fallen snow on the garden nets looked like clouds slipping over the orchard. By that time, during winter holidays, I was trying to explore new means for painting, so I was experimenting with honey mixed with resins and gold dust. I even created some paintings using that mix. I was inspired by the works of the German artist Joseph Weiss, who also used honey in his installations and performances. For him, Honey was a nurturing substance associated with creativity and life. I was curious to see what would happen if I tried to paint the snow with the honey mixed with gold. And what happened is that the honey was absorbed almost immediately and the gold dust remained. By accident, I dropped some honey over the chicken wire fence and I saw in amazement how the honey started moving in a very curious way over the metal string. So I took my camera and recorded it. When I showed the raw version of this video to my tutors at the Master of Fine Arts program, they loved the idea and asked me to make a high quality video with professional equipment, so to show it in my graduation exhibition. In the beginning I just thought that it was a kind of play, a game with the snow so I didn't take it seriously. But when I saw that other people were as fascinated as I was, I knew that I had discovered something. And this was the first time that I allowed myself to lose control or to try to force things in a way that I thought they should. like being serious, making serious art or trying to do something um, over average. This was simple, unexpected, spontaneous, natural. The only thing that I did was to flip the camera 90 degrees and that was it. I was lucky. Honey has been symbolically associated to eternal life, used in some ancient societies to preserve corpses. This is because of its antibacterial characteristics, which prevent flesh from rotting. If well preserved, honey can even if well preserved, honey can endure hundreds of years without spoiling. Due to its chemical properties, honey is also an excellent conductor of electricity, the so-called spark of life. Another work of art that, that I created after experiencing winter here 
was a series of photographs that I took during a day in January that year. It rained so much and the snow melted. A nearby river grew and flooded part of the town where we lived. When I went to walk there, I found enormous lakes and ponds of water that were almost reaching some houses, creating amazing mirrors under them. I took my camera and made some pictures of that fantastic landscape. There was no wind those days, so the water stayed still and quiet. It felt like walking through a limbo or a dream. I will leave a link below in the description box so that you can go to my website and see the complete series of photographs and the complete video of Honey if you are curious. Until today, I am still trying to pay attention to my surroundings, hoping that this feeling of curiosity never leave me, so that I can never get used to things and presence in awe its wonders. So that was all for this month. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as I enjoyed recording it and editing it. Uh, by the way, thank you so much for your kind comments in the past autumn vlog. I really, I was really happy to read your feedback and especially some friends told me that the video inspired them to be more aware of their surroundings and to appreciate little details in life and it made me really happy to know that because that's what I really want to do with my friends, to share this enjoyment of uh, small details in life and also to share some inspiration and that can move us to create something. Some friend wrote that it was very interesting to see how a person dedicated to art lives and thinks in the everyday life and that's very interesting insight because Joseph Weiss, uh, I guess it's his most famous quote, says that everyone can be an artist and be curious and uh, be fascinated by, some, by simple things in life and we make them art in the way we narrate them and in the way we share them with other people and what kind of meanings do we make with the materials that we work on so yeah thank you for the comment and also let's keep doing that let's keep uh, seeing the world as an artist then <laughs> yeah thank you for being here and i hope uh, i can see you in the next videos that there will be about paintings and fine art prints and basically the works of art that I have been working the past days so I hope you also like them